kindness to ourselves. Relaxation and healthy eating put together is healthy lifestyle. You can relax by not being stressed and eating healthy. Meditation and prayer helps relieve stress. Rack Week and Community Day have opened my eyes and showed me the meaning of kindness not only to others in the environment, but also to ourselves. So today is a friends and family group, so this is why we're hosting a grandparents tea. And um, so we, we please enjoy. <laughs> On Tuesday, we hosted a grandparents tea. The, the friends and family group had a big success. We enjoyed we enjoyed the moment with the grandparents. We had a kind of a, kind of a buffet for them. We got some feedback from them. They really enjoyed it. I, in my opinion, I hope we can do this again because I think this was a really great experience for all of us. And we hope that, inshallah, that this is not the only opportunity where you know we get to talk to the grandparents, get to talk to the children of the community. Mm -hmm. But we hope, inshallah, that you will keep up the spirit even outside this program at the masjid, inshallah. Whenever you see the grandparents, yeah. come and say salam to them. Children are going to Metro Vancouver and other places without food, without shoes, without winter coats or mittens. Some are tormented by bedbugs, bites, and others with head lice. The stories are as heartbreaking as they seem incredible. In this city, so often described as one of the most livable in the world, and in this province, the not that long ago boldly described itself as the best place on the earth. Week is a really good idea and I really liked it and what we did community we were and all of us we were giving handing out food out to the people and what I did I was giving out cards to people and at first I was really scared I thought like they were gonna be mean and all that but but there was this one but they were all nice they were like God bless you and there was this Chinese there was this Chinese person who offered me chocolate and I I, I thought like she was really kind and I was happy and it was a really good idea and in conclusion I think I, we had a really good experience with the Jewish school. Such a nice thing. Would you like a muffin? Thank you so much. But I really think that what I experienced today is beautiful and I want to say uh, shukran, Sadeki, Masalama, and Inshallah, and may God be willing and peaceful and find us a solution to this insanity. If God is willing. Our group is the Earth Group, 
And so what we did is that we invited the whole school over to our assembly and we did an experiment to show how good water is and how much we should appreciate it. Many countries in the world don't have clean water and we should appreciate it and learn how important it is. We did an experiment to show how we can make pure water from dirty water. Also, to help Earth, we, later in the day we went outside. Some of us went in to the uh, garbage place and we cleaned up some of the boxes and garbage that was filled, uh, that was um, uh, making the Earth polluted. Thank you so much for showing your random act of kindness. Some synagogues, men and women sit together, some families sit together. Mm -hmm. Where I come from, a separate, and you have a divider, right? Mm -hmm. So I know in a lot of mosques, you also have Absolutely. dividers as well. Yeah. So you guys push it a little bit because you're, you're teaching in your school, and it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But when they're adults... Oh, we have a divider here. So actually, this is, this is the lady's side of the congregation hall. Right. Through those doors is the men's side. It's exactly the same. These are kids, and I, 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 I give you a... I give you I give you a lot of respect for what you're doing because you take it very seriously and they were quiet and they were focused. And, you know, some of you kids are totally into it, some of you kids are, are less into it because you're kids and you're people. Yeah. Some kids think more about God. Some kids think are, are just I can't wait till this is over because I want to go have pizza. But guys, you saw the respect and the decorum and the modesty in, in how they were praying. And you have to think about when we do what we do, how different is it, right? How, how, much, how much can we pull out of this world, out of this type of approach to prayer? Because we do it very differently. Why do you wear hats? Why do the boys wear them? Oh, because you want to. Would you like to answer that first? Well, it's cool. typically like your um, head scarf is something to use. It's like a special uh, system. It's a respect. Yeah, it's a symbol of your faith, probably, as well. It's just a sign of respect to God. Um, and I think the fact that people came back, I don't think it was a bad thing, because I still feel like it was us being generous and all that stuff, and maybe they were taking for granted what we were doing, but at least we knew that we were doing something kind for like, so many people, and it feels really good. I would like to wholeheartedly thank Mrs. Claudio and Ms. Shoshi for putting this great week together. Thank you. <laughs> 